Hi everybody, of course I'm not John. It's Thomas sitting in for John. Um, he had a previous engagement that he has to take care of this week, so I'm, I'm sitting in for him for the Jazz Report. But between you and me, I think he's just getting ready for the college football season. Okay, take one for me this week. I went to two games. The Eminem Bowl between Mumford and Millington. Mumford looked good. Um, offense was clicking, but the defense was very impressive. Uh, shut down the Trojan offense throughout the night, but a nice, great atmosphere for high school football. Friday night, both sides were packed. Good, you know, a neighborhood rivalry. You know, just very enjoyable game. 38 nothing Mumford in that game. Then the following night, I headed out to Tipton Rosemar and watched Overton. Overton on uh, their quarterback Gatewood, phenomenal man could throw the ball with ease. And Overton looked great in the first half. Put up 26 points, but TRA fought back. They scored 21, came up just a little bit short in their comeback. Sam Cannon, their senior quarterback at TRA, did an awesome job. He got a couple weapons out there. Their defense impressed me and as they progressively got better. But um, the week that was, the biggest takeaway from last week, Germantown. That big win over MUS at MUS, they, they definitely going to make some noise the rest of this season. So that's my first take. Now to my second take, um, the game of the week. That's an obvious choice. Briarcrest Houston at Houston High School. 29-28 Briarcrest win. Uh, Two-point conversion with 329 left in the game for Briarcrest. It was a clutch play. They, they scored a touchdown to get it within one point. And um, coach decided to go for the two, and they, they got it. 29-28 was a thriller. Um, it was an electric atmosphere out there. Two heavyweights going back and forth. And, and that was um, the Dynamic Power 10 game of the week. Here in our office, and check it, make sure you check it out in the Germantown News and Shelby Sun Times. The recap um, by Graham Sweeney. It's going man, it was a great game, and it's definitely the game of the week, a no-brainer. And now for my third take, um, the player of the week. Let's go back to that Briarcrest Houston game. Um, Briarcrest quarterback K. Carlson, 41 passes. You know his arm was tired. And when you throw in that many passes, of course you're going to throw a couple of interceptions. But he threw two touchdowns and that clutch touchdown at the end. Wow. And that two-point conversion. So, K, you definitely are player of the week. But I have to say, um, this kid was not player of the week. He's going to be a good player. But he had the player of the week, Aiden Petrowski at TRA. I want you all to check out this highlight of this great catch he had. Now to the fourth take, and uh, John did send in his, in his top ten for this week, going into week three. So after two weeks of action, this is how John top ten looks. And number ten, he has Cordova. They had a big win this past week, a blowout win. Could Cordova be on a turnaround with Coach Seltzer? We'll see. Um, number nine, Covington. Then he has Bartlett. Bartlett went down to Hoover, went against a great Hoover team, took a tough loss. We'll see how they bounce back. Next up is Christian Brothers. So we got them at number seven, then MUS, Houston, and now we get into the top four. Number four, Carrieville. Number three, the Muffer Cougars. Number two, after that impressive win at Houston, Briarcrest, and his number one team, after two tough wins over Christian Brothers and MUS, deservingly so, the Germantown Red Devils. So that is John's top ten, and um, we're going to conclude things with the dynamic physical therapy power ten. So now we conclude the Jazz Report with the Dynamic Physical Therapy Power 10. And we start off with number 10, the Millington Trojans at 1-1. One one. Got a tough matchup at Covington this week after a tough game at Mumford. Now, number 8 is Covington. They're 1-1 one one as well. They picked up a big win this past week over Jackson Northside 41 to nothing. One of these teams won't be in the Power 10 next week. And we're going to see which one of these teams is going to be legit. Especially it's a league game. It's going to be a tough matchup. Will a real Charger show up? Will a real Trojan show up? We'll see. Number nine, FACS, 
They were in our original top 10 in the preseason. They're back in after picking up a 35 to 14 win over Kip of Memphis. Got to go to Harden. They got to take on Harden Academy this week at their place. Number seven, the Christian brother, Purple Wade. They have to head to Innsworth. Innsworth, that's a tough team for every team in that league in, in the private school division. It's going to be a tough matchup, but Christian Brothers bounced back with a 51 and nothing win over Sheffield. Number six at 1-1 one one, after that tough loss to Briarcrest, the Houston Mustangs. They got to go take on Cordova, a Cordova team that bounced back this past week. They're going to welcome the Houston Mustangs. And so we see if Cordova has really turned that corner or is Houston going to, going to prove that they're really one of the best teams in this area. Number five, MUS at 1-1. One one. They had to go to St. Benedict, try to bounce back with their first league win after the tough loss to Germantown. Number four, Briarcrest, 2-0, big win over Houston, a thriller. Now they have to take on Brentwood Academy to see if they can go to 3-0. Mumford dropped from number two to number three after the win. I know you said, how could that happen? You know, they, they beat a quality Millington team. Now they take on Douglas. Mumford's legit in there for real. But the reason why Germantown is number two, they beat Christian Brother MUS, two of the best teams in our area year after year. A 21-16 win over MUS. Now, all Germantown has to worry about is the White Haven Tigers. And according to the schedule, they have to go to the Haven. Good luck, Red Devils. And if you're 3-0, you might be looking at the number one spot. But at number one, our preseason number one team, the defending Power 10 champions, the Carville Dragons, picked up another big win, 42 to nothing over Douglas. And now they welcome in White Station. So we'll see if they'll hold on to that spot and, and see what they'll do against White Station. So that's your Dynamic Physical Therapy Power 10 heading into week three. And we'll see you next week with the JS Report.